what is going on today youtube we're going to be doing uh what's the name uh a, a post commentary because uh yeah this video took way too long to actually record so this is what we're going to be doing today so as you can see i am playing vindred zombies and i started off with a desires which was not 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 very good it was it was very bad and um yeah man i i, I don't know man I, i'm not really liking desires as of right now so uh as you can see we're going up against a um a level one deck it's uh i, I forgot what it is. it's like a mystic piper kind of deck as you can see he summons the mystic piper and stuff like that so it is just a level one deck so that's the best way i can explain it as you can see he gets the instant fusion so as you see my hand is not that good but i do top the uh what's that? i do top deck the Re uh, revendre revendred origin so I can drop the Slayer and stuff like that. So I get to attack over the Link Karibo. And then I realize what his effect actually states. Which makes this zero. So I can't really do any damage. And so he's pretty much protecting his life points by using the Karibo. And hits me with the Harpy's Feather Duster. So now I'm even at an even a worse advantage. Then he shows his own preparation right. And he is playing Relinquish. So now I'm thinking, Jesus Christ. We are finna get done today. And then he sends the... Uh, the, uh, what is it called? The uh, Sphere Karibo, which you can banish from your graveyard as a tribute. And he hits me with a, the, the highest of highest attacks um, of a 2400 straight to the face. And then he summons a Mystic Piper and then gets two free uh, cards pretty much off of a Piper. So now I'm thinking, all right, what can I top deck? Uh, and I'm he sitting here thinking maybe I could use uh, Twin Twister and Slayer is going to get his effect because it was Ritual Summoned. But no, no, sadly, I do not get the effect, so I'm really at a disadvantage. Then he activates Wear Off Thou, and then activate another Wear Off Thou. So that's already three in the, what, by, by the third turn of the duel. But he's been going through his deck, so it's like really nothing I can really do. As you can see, I have a Dead Barrel. The desires really hurt. Um, and here he goes. He attacks only 400, which is very surprising. I would th I would have thought that he would have, you know, continued his plays and even like spam the board to get you know got something even you know better than just a relinquish in defense mode so here i top deck uh sage i'm like all right i can go for game here because i do have a chief priest in the graveyard and i do have a uh what's the name i i can do i do have a burial so i can return the mizuki i can go shogun saga pop and then uh what's the name use burial to special summon and that's you know it's going to be game so I get the Western, I'm doing my plays, and then here, once again, this is where Link Karibo just comes and makes the best splash. It's like, it's probably one of the best Link monsters out. Look at this. So I use Spirit Master to target that, and bam, Link Karibo is, I mean, I, I didn't know it was a quick effect. I did not know it does that, and you guys already know the first effect, which um, pretty much uh, whenever I declare an attack, it goes down to zero. So I think I get Revendred Slayer here. So I'm thinking, all right, maybe I can do a little bit of splash. I go to attack with this, which I shouldn't have did because um, it's obviously only, it's only on the monster that declares an attack. So I make it another mistake because I'm like, damn, there's really nothing I can do. Um, I felt like he had something anyway. Then he uses preparation rights. And so I'm thinking, yeah, this, this game is just completely over. I'm sitting here losing to a level one deck. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually saying these words. But man, that Link Karibo really gave them a very, I mean, a very big power boost. And see, you see how he went to King of Bayonne to back to the Relinquish. Then he got to, then he has one for one, which I believe he gets out Treeborn Frog, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he gets out Treeborn Frog. He already prepped uh, earlier in the turn. So you guys can already tell that this is game over. I end up losing game one, which is just crazy, man. There's, I was just very upset. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Why, why, why me, man? Why me? Why do I got to lose to a level one deck? But <clears throat> that is game one. This is a match. So I believe I pause it here. And then I, yeah, I, I come back in here. So I'm deciding in the max season because you see the dude with special summoning. He didn't really set a back row. Here I'm thinking about taking out the desires because I'm like, man, I really don't like the card. But I am testing it. So I got to keep playing it. So I took out one of the, uh, there wasn't the Vendred or a Reorigin, so you know it really wasn't too much to do. Um, I'm going to go first, and as you can see, my hand is actually pretty okay. I started off with a Summer Monk and uh, what's the Vendred Origin, which I feel like the card is very good. And here, um, I, I got I remembered that hey, you know, links are out, so what we can do is you can, in the TCG, what we can do is you can play double Summoner Monk. So, what we can do is uh, damn, I just said 
like five times in a row. <laughs> but uh, we can do monk into another monk into a uh, into a goblin zombie and then go deco talker and get a search. But obviously monk is at one, so we can't really do that. So we're just gonna start off with a, a, a cool first turn of Omega and then banish because we you know we have nothing to really return. So there's no reason there's no reason to keep the Omega on the board. And so I set my uh, Vendred Reorigin because. Like I said, I really do enjoy the card. I really think it's an actual fantastic card. Um, it can easily stop any one of his plays, but he's only summoning Lotuses, so I'm not really tripping. Then he goes to a Link Karibo and attacks for 300, and that's completely fine, as long as that's the end of his turn, which it is. And like, he's just playing a whole bunch of cards, like Samsara Lotus and stuff like that. So I put on Ignore Chain, because now I'm going into a Crystal Wing. And once again, man, uh, it just, uh, you see that ignore chain, it's still pressed in. Like on Dev Pro, um, on Dev Pro, it, like when you click it, it just keeps going back off and keep going back off. You gotta hold it and stuff like that. But on uh, on this, on, on this Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, is it, it stays clicked, which I mean, obviously it should because you know, that that's what you clicked. So I go into the battle phase and once again, attacking with the wrong card and look, I finally realized the ignore chain is on so pretty much the game should have been over right then but you know i'm giving my opponent even more chances and you guys already know what happens when you give your opponent more turns than they need to be they, they don't they don't even need these extra turns now he just he gets to live because of what because of no reason so i set the book of moon i'm thinking all right i can still i got a crystal wind got a book of moon i got a reverend dread origin I mean, a Vendred Origin, as soon as, you know, it, anything pops off that I do not like, I can either Book of Moon, I can even, I can even use the Vendred Origin. So, here he goes, he summons the, uh, what's the name, what is it called? I think that's, I, I forgot what Karibo that is called, but that's actually going to come in clutch later on today. I mean, not today, but later on in the door, yeah, Relink Karibo. Oh, wow, did not know that was the name of it. So as you see, I'm holding down the uh, the book uh, the what's an available button because I'm going to use Book of Moon and stuff like that. Get rid of the relinquish in his hand. Thank God because that would have been very that would have been a big pain to get over. So here I go. He in phases uses a Samsara Lotus to get back on the board. So I'm thinking, all right, that's game. Uh, I draw into a ghost. I mean, draw into an Ash Blossom. I'm thinking, all right. So now we finally got game. So he goes into use these. He uses the, uh, what is it called? The, uh, the Link Karibo. So I attack over this, track over the Prince of Fright, thinking, all right, there you go. There's the game. So you see me trying to pretty much click over, and you guys already know what's about to happen. He does that. So I'm thinking, okay, I still got game. Then he drops the Battle Fader. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> How long? I can't continue to leave him. And as you see, I'm just ending my turn here because I'm so frustrated. I'm just ending my turn because I, I just don't care. I just really don't care about anything. I'm not using no Gozuki's effect, Unizombie's effect that easily could have been used. I could have been dumping a whole bunch of cards out of my deck, uh, such as Slayer, such as uh, more Mizuki, such as uh, Hound Horde, stuff like that. But I'm just so frustrated because, come on, man, I'm just playing against the just this the best decks of all time. So he activated pre prep, but I do have an Ash Blossom. And since he only has two, and I got an Omega on board, I might as well just use it. And look, I even forgot Omega's effect. And I hit an instant fusion, so that's really good because if he would have got a, what's the name out, if you got a thousand extra strict out, there's no telling where this duel would have gone because I would have been forced to use my, uh, what's the name, Crystal Wing, and then that would have been very bad. So he goes into a Slacker Magician. I'm like, okay, that's fine. It, I mean, it can be destroyed. I just got to attack it twice. He's going to bring back the Sam Terra Lotus one more time. And I type deck a Pot of Desire, so I'm thinking, all right, this game is over. I don't need to use Pot of Desires. I can just attack. I believe that's what I do. Um, yeah, see, I'm sitting here thinking, all right, here, do the right play. So I was about to mess up. That's okay. I'm going to attack Slacker Magician. Um, he, he lets that go. Actually, no, he activates the Link Karibo. Okay, I negate it. So the attack goes through. Attacks over the Slacker Magician. So now I got game, right? Now I got game. I know what you're thinking. Now I got game. Nope. Because of what is it called? The Rilling Karibo. It... <laughs> Well, it's in the graveyard. You can protect the card. Why? Why by battle too? This why. And then so I just use Omega because I'm not really returning anything. And then I look and I'm like, all right, I ain't been using Gozuki or Unizombie. So let me see what I can do. So I'm just dumping random cards because I, I you see me trying to activate and it keeps going in defense mode because I continue to forget. Like, <laughs> I mean, not forget, but I just keep clicking the wrong way. So I'm thinking, finally, is the game over? Can I please win now? And then. 
what makes what's name really good is uh what makes uh the vendred origin really good is that i can just use it on my i can use it on my own turn and just tribute one of his monsters that's being a problem or something so i take off ignore chain i make sure that ignore chain is not on a top deck to Revan Dread Slayer. Now, normal summon Mizuki because I'm like, all right, we're not going to leave anything up to him. We're going for game here, folks. So, <clears throat> start my battle phase. Attack over this. Attack over the Slack Magician. He doesn't protect it. Okay. Uh, I mean, now he doesn't use, uh, what's the name? He doesn't use the Link Rebo in his graveyard. So, I'm like, all right, there we go. That's fine. Then, attack over the Slack Magician. Finally gets over the Slack Magician. Attack to slam, attack the Sansara Lotus. I believe I think he lets it go or he I think he actually uses Link Karibo. He does use Link Karibo, so I'm like, yeah, I gotta negate. I'm like, please do not be 2000 defense. Please, man. Even if it is, I can still get over it. It's a Ginga Bill. So then he summons this card. I'm thinking, oh no, he has more defense, but no, it does get banished. So I do win game two. And as you can see, game three, I don't even do any extra siding because that's pretty much all we need. We already sided in the maxis. Nothing else is going to be good. And he get, I think he lets me go first. And as you see, I open up double strike. But I'm scared right here to think. I'm scared. I'm thinking he's going to have a feather duster and I ain't going to be able to stop it. So he doesn't actually have a feather duster. He activates Fuller's Burial. I'm not tripping about that because that doesn't do anything. Um, I do have a strike. I do have a warning for anything that's any like if I'm scared of anything, there's there's the warning or strike. So activate the pre-prep. That gets Ash Blossom. I, you know, I, I, it feels good for me to have it. Then he uses one for one. I'm sitting here thinking, should I do it? Should I do it? Yes, I'm definitely do it. You're not going to gain any type of advantage on me, sir. You're going to have to normal summon or use an effect. And I got to strike for that. So I'm not really tripping. <clears throat> so at the end phase, he was thinking about using Sanitary Lotus. Once again, another poor desires. It's just horrible. Join to another. Look at everything I just banished. That's just poor, man. That is just poor. I, I did, this is why I don't like desires in this deck. Because you're for, I mean, you're running a whole bunch of, uh, you're running a whole bunch of uh, tech card, not tech cards, but key cards that you need in the deck. So it's not really that good. And so, <clears throat> as you see, I, some, I mean, I attack my Mizuki into his 2100 defense. The card that comes back if it's into the graveyard, because why not? And so he goes into an XC, and I'm thinking, please don't go into that lyrical Lucinia uh, girl, that one that can't be destroyed by card effects and you take no battle damage. So bam, he goes into Princess Sprite, that's fine. He uses Dot Scaper, and I'm thinking, all right, he's gonna have something to go into. Goes into the Link Karibo, that gets striked. And he, this is where he fucks up at. He thinks, um, so at the end phase, he brings back Sam Sarah Lotus, thinking he can use Link Karibo's effect. But no, you can't, because it was never properly summoned. Use another Desires and draw into something random. Look at everything that gets banished, Jesus Christ. I think I have one Slayer left in the deck. They have one Slayer left in the deck, one Sage left in the deck, and I think like two Unizombies left in the deck. Um, yeah, I think two Unizombies. Man, I'm like, all right, should I send Slayer here or should I send Mizuki? What should I do? I think I end up sending Chief Priest. No, I end up sending Mizuki. I mean, I, Unizombie because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna attack over him because he, I, like I said, he he thinks that he can use Link Karibo. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna attack over him. Just do 3400 and then do uh, go to Dweller and then. Uh, like I said, worst come to worst, on my turn, I can use Dweller, discard the goes I mean, detach the Gozuki, and then special summon, and then, you know, be able to beat my opponent, because I do have Burial, like I said, I can build up a lot of advantage, so he tops deck the damn pre-prepper rights, but I don't believe he does have a Black Illusion, but of course he has one, and then, thanks to Dweller, he doesn't get the draw, he doesn't get the Treeborn back, and it's okay, I, can, I think I use goes. no, I don't use it, alright, that's pretty strange, I don't know why I didn't do it, but, I end up not using Gozuki because I'm like, all right, I can finally get game. I'll top deck the Chief Priest. I'm like, yeah, this is game. You can't stop me. You can't use the damn Link Karibo in the graveyard. Um, I think there's the, uh, what's the name in there? I believe this, the, the, the Link Karibo's in the graveyard, but I don't think he uses it when I try to, when I try to uh, kill him. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen. I should have easily just hit the Dweller. To, I mean, that would have been, you know, a better option because then he wouldn't, I mean, I don't think he would have really protected it. But I go into a Shogun Saga and banish what's the name, and I believe that is the end of the duel here. <clears throat> either or, it's going to work either way. Yeah, like I said, uh, he could have protected it, but uh, he did not. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys do want to support the channel, click an ad to help support it. And, yeah, that is it for today.